like a snow globe. They're back. Round two. Hey, how's it going? Rainy here on the channel, Just Be You, uh, doing a video to redo my Brian shirt video because I have failed in my last attempt. They all died. So I just restarted. But like I said before, I'm going to go to the pet store and buy some actual like aquarium salt. And so that's what I did. So I went to uh, Petco or uh, PetSmart, sorry. I went to PetSmart and I was looking around for some salt and I got this bag of salt for 15% off because there was a hole in it. And guess what? I was going to put a hole in the bag anyways, right? <laughs> so I took the 15% and I, I bought it. So here's what I got. Oh. Instant Ocean. Mm. Looks good for 50 gallons worth. And um, that's the hole right there. They put a piece of tape right over it. Ah, there goes my hole. I made a new one. But ever since I put this in, the water looks so much clearer. If you check it out, I decided to put it in uh, one of these smaller containers here and the water looks so much better. Like you don't even see that white residue that was there from the last one I did because I had bought some sea salt from, um, um, I think it was a Cub Foods or something. So this water is so much more clear. And if you look closely, you see all those things floating around there. Yeah, those are the brine shrimp. And so it already has been about about 24 hours now, a little more than 24 hours now. And so they are hatched and they are moving around. I did throw a little bit of spirulina powder in there. So there's a little bit of green on the bottom there. And so that's what I'm going to start feeding them a little bit ahead of time. Just because I know they say wait a couple days because they still have their sack in which they kind of feed on. And so they'll feed on that for a couple of days. But I decided just to go ahead and throw it in there anyways, because it doesn't hurt, I guess, you know, to throw some of this uh, spirulina powder in there. I mean, if it doesn't get eaten, it just kind of sits there until, you know, until it gets uh, it gets filtered out uh, when they eat it. So that's what I did. And so we'll see how this goes. I mean, it looks so much more nicer, more promising. And there, and like I said, all I did was I took a pinch. Uh, like, <laughs> I literally took the tip of this, um, my chopstick here. I did, I got it wet and I just dipped into the, the brine shrimp eggs and I just bloop and I said, that's what I'm going to do. And that's a lot. That was like hundreds, hundreds, maybe even thousands of, uh, uh, shrimp eggs in there. So let's see, we'll see how that goes. And this is just kind of follow up to my second attempt to hatch the brine shrimp, see if I can actually grow them to adult size. And I was looking online. And they were saying that, you know, it takes only about a week for these uh, brine shrimp to reach adulthood. But I find it hard to believe because I've had my first batch for a couple of days and they are still the same size. Just that they weren't orange anymore because I guess they had a depleted their, um, you know, depleted their, their sack of food, you know. But the fishes are doing fine, you know. They're doing fine and I end up trying to buy a little variety of food for them because you know, I was reading that blood worms isn't always the best thing to feed them all the time and so I got some um, pellets here for them and all the female betas they go crazy just look at them come on look at them oh my gosh they go crazy like they just swallow this whole thing whole it's like oh I feed it to the, the male betas but they just look at it and they're like eh. And then they let it fall to the ground and it just dirties up their um, their tank. And so I did vacuum their room today. And so it's a lot clearer down there if you can see. No more food debris or poop debris. But yeah. And just a little update on that. Just giving you guys, you know, another update on how my second batch of brine shrimp is going. And hopefully I can get these guys to grow to adulthood. Uh, if there's too much, I can then move them to the bigger tank, which I, I was supposed to do uh, in the last video, but they all died. I did clean it out. So, I mean, once these starts to show a little more promise, I'll probably throw some, um, you know, salt and the new salt I bought in here and fill this guy all the way up. So there we go. That, and, and in one of these containers, I put about, it's about a liter in there. 
And so I only needed to put one scoop of um, one teaspoon and maybe a little more um, to kind of treat that water. But other than that, everything seems to be going pretty good. So we'll see how they go in the next couple of days. So just a video to show you guys what's going on. Hopefully you guys are having a good day as we go into the weekend and uh, we'll see how things go. So thanks for tuning in and stay cool and I'll see you in the next video. And just be careful.